Sports. Stanford University, a bastion of academia and the alma mater of some of college football's most legendary figures, Elway, Luck, Sherman, and McCaffrey. And today, the Stanford Cardinal will try to live up to that legacy. There's just something about the nightcap. After a day of wall-to-wall -wall football, it just seems this is when chaos ensues. As we'll see a squad from the SEC, the Auburn Tigers, Taking on a team from the ACC, the Stanford Cardinal. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. Stanford about to tee it up to get this one going. He'll bring it out. It's Cobb. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. Looking for a productive play on first down. He's going to pass. He's going to take a shot right away. He can't hang on to the football. A big play sitting right there for the taking, and they can't get it done early in this one. Now it's second and 10 from the 15. Misfired on the last play. They'll go back to the air. Grabbed in the backfield. It's Hunter. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the play. Let's see if it stands. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. First down here for the offense. Using his legs, it's Hunter. And he knocked him down after a gain of three to the 23. And offenses want to continue to feature the run. They want balance. Even if it's not super successful, you can take it a little bit at a time just to keep that defense honest. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Right back to it. At the 35, he's loose. Got a lot of running room. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. Defense is going to have their hands full trying to stop this guy. They better rally to the football and get multiple hats because he is not easy to bring down. The Tigers will line it up on first and ten. Power football with the run. Finds a crease at the 20. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. Defensively, you'll take the slow death. You'll take three, four, five yards a pop. But you can't give up the massive plays. you got to do a better job containing the football, making him run to guys, and get, get him on the ground, for goodness sakes. And he strides his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers! You take advantage of tendencies when you set that opening script, and man, their film study showed up there. I think the offensive coordinator, it's almost as if he knew what the defense was going to be playing. He knew the personnel. He knew the different looks and coverages and fronts that they were going to see. And that offense, they just chopped up yardage moving down the field to score in that opening series. Bulldozes him. He stopped short of the 20 at the 19 and probably wishes he'd just taken the touchback. On first. 
first down. Here comes this offense. Quick touch pass to the receiver. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. And these little touch passes, man, they're just the easiest completions ever for quarterbacks. Palmer, I bet you would have loved being able to just flip it forward. That counts as to your completion percentage, which is good. And then it's all run after the catch. So pretty easy for a QB. You wouldn't have been the only All-American in this booth game if I were allowed to have push passes when I was playing for him. I'll tell you that. It is so hard to defend. It's so hard to seal that edge, especially when this guy's full speed ahead coming around the other side. Now from the 40, it's first and 10. Here we go, here we go. Use the play fake. Now to throw. And the pass. It's picked off. Made that play and was hoping to make another one on the return, but they'll take it in business at the 41. And this ball looks like it just got away from the quarterback. I think he made the right decision. He was going to the receiver that seemed open, but just not very accurate on the throw, and that leads to the interception. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. They're trying to run the ball on first down, guys, but just nothing doing up front. Their offensive line got blown up on that play. There was nowhere for that guy to go. Trying play action. And they knocked him down almost immediately. And you're seeing the pass rush on the second play of the drive. They dial it up. Look at the speed and athleticism this defense has as they corral the quarterback for a loss. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. On third and long, a check down would be the last resort. Fires it into a crowd, and it's picked off. Taking it the other way. He's inside the 40. The 20. And he's going to run it all the way back. Touchdown, Cardinal! This time, it's the defense finding ways to put points on the board. There is nothing better than being a defender. Seeing that ball in the end zone, your eyes get big as saucers. Go jump on that puppy, secure it, get you a touchdown. After that latest answer, tied things up, just about set to kick it away again. He'll bring it out. It's Cobb. He's brought down at the 16. Would have been much better off to take the touchback. And Auburn is ready to go back to work on offense. Well, the good news is they threw a touchdown pass last time. It was just to the wrong team, Jesse. Well, that's an unfortunate part of the game. For Trying to burn this defensive back. He's got it on the right. And he was loose and not stopped until he gets to the 47-yard line. They were backed up, and then suddenly they weren't. They've got it first and 10 now inside the 50. Dropping back, it's Thorne. He finds his man. Brought down at the 32-yard line. Picks up 15 yards on the play and an important first down. New set of downs after that completion. He'll do it himself. And a decent game there before the defense makes the stop. Yeah, and that's the hard thing about these QBs that can move and run all over the place and give you so many options is that that didn't even look like much, but he chews up so much yardage and gets those little gains that just death pop. Under pressure, and down he goes at the 33. And how about the defense getting home with the pass rush? Playing man coverage in the back end. You need to win up front. Those guys got to get to the quarterback. Do a great job rushing the pass. Throws toward the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Tigers. Defense has to be better on the back end. They knew this offense was going to come out, and they were going to challenge them. They were going to try to push the ball vertically down the field. They've now given up two touchdown passes in this game. They have got to shore up their play in the back half. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Going for the return. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. 
And they'll get off one more play before the end of the quarter. Looking to move it through the air. It's incomplete and will change into the field now. That's the end of the first quarter. With the score, Auburn, 14, Stanford, 7. Second down now as they're ready to go back to work. Gonna run it. It's Ford. Coming out, attacking from deep in their own end, and they're out at the 26 for the first down. And that is exactly why you stick to running the football. Haven't had a lot of success, but boom, you pop one, right? That's what you gotta do. You got you cannot become one-dimensional and just throw the football every day. I love the offense sticking to the run. Nice job getting the first down. You know, runs like this oftentimes are like a boxer in a boxing match. Obviously, it's not a knockout punch, but these are body blows. And as the game goes on, these small gains are gonna turn into longer runs. He'll keep it himself. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And they run the option, and that had no chance. And the QB, you could tell something was a little bit messed up, and he starts to run. It goes nowhere. Defense swarms him. That is the play that we don't want to run. He lobs one high down the left side. And he makes the grab and gets the foot down. What a job for a huge game there. That's a beautiful pass and catch. I love the job the quarterback does manipulating the defense with his eyes. He froze that safety, and that allowed his receiver more room to work his run. Quarterback touch pass on the jet sweep. And he's going to score. Touchdown, Stanford! Ready to try the point after. Splits those uprights right in half. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they finish it with an 11-yard touchdown dart. And he'll return it and try to get behind his blockers. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Now here comes that Auburn offense onto the field again. The way this game started, you feel as if you have to score a touchdown every time you have it, and now we'll see if they can respond. Yeah, and I wonder how much pressure that puts on the offense. Jesse, like, you know this is back and forth, and I gotta score, and every possession matters so much. What does that do to you as a quarterback? Well, it puts a lot more pressure on you, for sure, to feel like I gotta make every third down throw. If guys are open vertically down the field, I gotta hit them, too. We can't let our serve get broken. And he was hit just as he released it, and it falls to the turf. Well, this defense felt coming into the game that if he was going to try to throw from the pocket, they could get to him and affect his accuracy, and they did on that last play. Coming after it. And the quarterback is snowed under. Play action pass success has a lot to do with selling that thing. You could tell defense was not buying it, got in the backfield, got the big play. This is a third and long. Quarterback changing the plays at the line. On third and long, hoping to throw beyond the sticks. Oh, they really could have used that catch. Their physical pass defense, it brings up a fourth down. Auburn sends out the punting unit. And the ball will bounce at the four and find its way into the end zone for a touchback. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. He wastes no time and comes out throwing. Pocket starts to collapse. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. What can they pull out of the playbook here on second and long from the 17? Looking downfield, it's Daniels. 
makes his connection. And they pick up just a few on that completion. Look, as an offense, you're always going to take completions over incompletions and interceptions. So the offense, they're able to make that third down a little bit more manageable, but honestly, not that much. He'll try the left side. Strong running there. Going to pick up seven yards on the play, but they still have a fourth and three. Stanford wants to push the pace. Running for it on fourth down. They stop him short of the marker, and they'll turn it over on downs. Aggressive. You want to be aggressive. You want to take chances, and you tell your team about it all week, and you come out, and you get an opportunity in the first half to, to go for it on fourth down. You, you shot your shot. The problem is now you put your defense in a bad situation early. Got some room headed to the goal line. He almost punched it in for six. They'll get him down at the one-yard line. Well, it took everything on defense to just get that guy down on the one-yard line. He is a monster, dude. And if this offense, Jesse, is going to keep doing that, you better bring in reinforcements on that defensive line. Get some big boys because they're about to punch this thing in the end zone. And the defense sold out to stop the run, and they do here on first down. Can the D deny them on second and goal? Quick timeout by the defense there, trying to make sure everyone has the same call. And the D deny them on second and goal. Quarterback flips it ahead quickly to the receiver. Touchdown, Auburn! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. And I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. I'll tell you what, keep that passing game up. You can keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. Just into the end zone, and he'll bring it out. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. The Stanford offense making its way back onto the field. This late in the half, you're behind. You'd love to create something before the break. To he hurls one deep down the left side. And it goes through his hands. Oh, he had an explosive play right there for the taking, but couldn't reel it in. After they couldn't connect, it's second and ten. Dropping back, it's Daniels. Pressure coming. And he was drilled just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. It doesn't take this defense a lot of time to get to the quarterback, man. They've got speed all over the place. They hit him so quickly, and because of that, the ball falls incomplete. Now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Throws to the wideout. Got him downfield. Ripping through the defense. And they'll pick up the first down and mark it at the 47. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Stanford going back to work with another first down. He's looking to throw it. He lost it high and deep down the left side. Makes the catch, and he will score! Touchdown, Cardinal! Yeah, and the passing game comes through, man, and we need more of that in the second half. An extra point away from tying this football game. You trailed a little bit in the first half, stayed calm, and this passing game can continue to heat up. Look out in the second half. So they got the touchdown, and as they kick off, really important for the defense to shut them down here. On the move from inside is five. He only needs a sliver of daylight. And Auburn is ready to go back to work on offense. These two defenses have had their head spinning here in the first half, and now we might even see a little more scoring. He's going to let one fly down the middle. And he's got it at the 25. He gets it in. Touchdown, Tigers. How about this Tiger quarterback etching his name alongside the greats and maybe wearing out Aubie with extra push-ups after all these points? And you just think about those guys having those kind of days as Nick Marshall, Cam Newton, just superstars at the position. 
That's what kind of day he's having so far. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. They got the late touchdown on the board, now about to kick it away and hoping the defense can keep them from answering. Out of the end zone. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. Running out of time here in the first half, they're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. They'll leave it with the lone back. Really nice run there. Good, solid pickup, and they'll move the sticks with a first down. There's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. Now on first down from the 28. To the air, it's Daniels. They've got the screen set up. And he goes out of bounds after coming up with positive yardage there. That's exactly what you're trying to get accomplished. You've got to make sure on all these runs, clock running down, you get out of bounds, right? Get some positive yards and then stop that clock. One more snap coming before halftime. Let's go! Let's go! Lost to fire on second down. He tosses one high and deep down the left side. Incomplete. They took a shot to wrap up the half and came up empty. So that's going to do it here in the first half. Stay tuned for the halftime break. Auburn ready to boot it deep to start the second half. And he's going to run it back. He's got great speed. He's on the loose. And there he goes. He'll take it to the house. Touchdown, Stanford. You know, you just went to half. You drew up all these adjustments. Things we got to do differently to take advantage. <laughs> How about the special teams coming out to start the second half and setting the tone? Taking the kick all the way back for six. They'll draw it up in the better than that. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Now here comes that Auburn offense onto the field again. They torched this defense with an explosive passing play for a score last time out. Let's see if they go right back at him. Get some work done there. Pick up a four to the 22. Small game, I know. But again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him onto the run game. You've got to do a lot of this. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Really, really nice football play. Man, I got to understand option football. I got to play my responsibility, make sure that I know what I'm doing. Look at the linebacker. Great job doing that. Staying patient, getting to the quarterback, making the big tackle. And the missed connection on third down. Well, in the first half, this offense was up and down the field. It seemed like everything they were dialing up was working. And here we are in the third quarter, and there's a very rare incompletion on their own end of the field. And he doesn't field it cleanly. It's loose. Touchdown, Auburn! And with that, they've got the lead here in the second half. Lining up to add another. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. That is a defensive player's dream. Ball sitting there, chance to scoop it up, run with it, and they don't stop you until the band starts playing. From back of the end zone, he'll bring it out. Gets it across the 20 to the 21, and not quite what he would have picked up just taking the touchback. Stanford has it back. The Cardinal offense returning to the field. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Touch pass on the jet sweep. 
and they'll stop him after a minimal pickup. Well, and on these little push passes, timing is so important. You're trying to snap it right as he's getting a full head of steam. When he gets the ball, he's hitting the outside, David. It puts the defense in such a difficult spot. You immediately have to be rotating when you see that motion, so everybody's got to communicate and kind of bump over. That's why offenses love to run. It just it makes the defense communicate and see if you can just get him out of a spot. This offense has to get this guy the ball in as many ways as possible. He showed you all of his tools on that last play. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. Still on his feet at the 45. He's off to the races. And he's sprinting. He'll take it all the way. Touchdown, Cardinal. Huge play. It's so nice to have guys that can create these explosive plays like this. You hand it to him, he can do the rest. Look at the speed. Look at the elusiveness. Get into the end zone. Nice run. And the kick is good, but there's a penalty flag, and I think it's going to be roughing the kicker. So the decision has been made, and the coach Number will 13. take the penalty. All tied up and just about set to kick it away. He'll bring it out. It's Cobb. It's great to think you're going to score every time you return it, but, man, what a bad decision. He's down at the six. Ball changes hands, and the offense finds themselves backed up inside their own 10. He wants to start this drive with a pass. Makes the grab. It's Coleman. And he's able to shed one tackle and pick up pretty good yardage. And offensively, I love running these drag routes. I mean, these are the routes that, whether it's zone, whether it's man, they're so successful. It's just about seeing what the defense is doing and getting it to him in open space. Nice job. The wide receiver has some space after the catch, able to go make extra yards. Nice pitch and catch. Crosses the 30. He's got a lane. A huge gain on that one before he ran out of bounds, and he has the first down. Auburn to the line in a hurry. What a run, man. I tell you what, it's hard to pop runs. It's hard to get three, four, five, six yards a lot of times. But when you got backs like this who can make huge plays with the speed, getting out in the open field, can take it the distance on every play. And the ball's on the ground. Once that ball was loose, the offense didn't have a chance. Defenders everywhere. It's a turnover. And then I love my quarterbacks that want to make plays and make those big plays and scramble around and get away from people. But you got to tuck that football away when you're going to run through arm tackles and people are around you dive and make sure you got that thing locked up. He did, and defense took advantage of it. Feeling some heat. And a quick completion, an even quicker loss. The defense was right there to knock him down. They'll try to put it in drive this time on second down from the 22. Wants to throw. It's Daniels. He'll off one deep down the left side. And that's going to be incomplete. Going for broke on second down, but third down's coming up. Yeah, and I like the shot, the aggressive play down the field. We like throwing those jump balls up to my receiver because usually the receiver makes the play and makes the defender look bad. Nice job by the defender getting a hand on it, tipping that ball away from the wide receiver. The short hand to Tyler Manor. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. You got to love that on defense. One of the most critical statistics out there is how do you play on third down? How do you prevent the opponent from keeping drives alive? Right there, tackling the catch. You gave up the completion. What do you do? You set up fourth and long. You're going to get the ball back. Go get some water and sell it. And they are stopped on fourth down. That decision will be questioned. Couldn't order better field position for this offense. They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. They'll run the screen. Just trucks through it. They make the stop, but not before the screen has hit him for a first down and much more really good execution by this offense. Auburn hopes to get War Eagle flying in this red zone trip. Using the quick game. They'll get it down to the eight-yard line on that throw and catch, and the defense is backed up against the wall. We knew this defense was going to be physical in this game. How about that hit on the tight end after a nice gainer preventing him from getting the first down? Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. 
from the gun. They'll try to impose their will. They knock him down behind the line, and the defense finishing this third quarter in style. facing a third down as they come back to the line after the break. Back to pass. It's Thorne. He wants it all. And it's intercepted. Oh, what a big play in a tie game. And after the interception and the turnover, this defense has set its offense up for business. The pressure was rising. Drama just encapsulating this entire stadium and the defense comes up with that pick. Yeah, so at the quarterback, he's got to be able to handle this situation. Obviously, everything gets elevated. Everything has to happen a split second sooner. You feel the crowd noise. You can feel the energy, but you've got to keep your poise. And you just wonder in this juncture of the game if the quarterback's starting to lose his cool. He'll try to loosen him up from deep in his own end. The heat got to him, and he just sort of froze and got tackled in the end zone for a safety. So after taking the safety, they'll line up for a free kick from their own 20. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. The offense set for a first down play. Quarterback checking off. Pre-snap motion in the backfield. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. Caught in the backfield, it's Hunter. At the 40, there he goes. Oh, look out. Past the 30, past the 20. Touchdown, Tigers. And once he got away from the D, they had no shot at catching it. Number 27. Man, how hard is it to defend when you have a weapon like this at running back that can play wide receiver? You can design ways to get the football in his hand. Palmer, once you get in his hands, he'll do the rest. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, and oftentimes those are easier throws for quarterbacks. And these running backs, they're just naturally so good when they have the football out in space. Their vision, their creativity, their ability to make people miss. And this guy shows you right there a difficult, difficult guy to stop now if you're this defense moving forward. He wants to throw. He lobs one high down the left side. And this is dropped. Incomplete pass. He had a huge gain in his fingers, and he couldn't hold on. The offense has got to find something here in the fourth quarter. You can tell, pressing a little bit. They need that big play. They want that big play to try to make this game a better ball game. Took the shot. Unsuccessful, but I wouldn't be surprised if they take some more games. And they'll stop him just short of the first down, just inches away from moving the sticks. They'll try to move the chains on third and short from the 25. Trying to make magic on the scramble. The ball is free. Defense coming up with a huge fumble recovery. And it now feels like game over after coughing up the fumble. They were down. They needed something big to happen. They had to score touchdowns. But give this defense credit. They just finish. They're playing to the end of the game with great effort, creating a takeaway to ice this thing. What a good run there. He has enough for the first down. And I like the first thought process right here. Run the football. We want to run that clock with the lead. Thank you to the defense for forcing that turnover, setting us up. Now if we can put a few first downs together, we're looking really good. Finds his target down the middle. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. Line getting set on second down. On the ground trying to pull the plug on this clock and he doesn't find much running room a short gain on the play balls at the 25 they're in field goal range but they love to convert this third and short looking to throw for it getting some heat just couldn't find any room and he wound up throwing it in reverse they lost yardage 
Hey, on offense, you got to know when the play is over. That one there, nowhere to go with it after he caught the football. You start trying to juke guys. You start trying to run backward. This ain't high school anymore. And you used to be able to make that play years ago. You're not doing it here in big-time college football. Not good. And they can't make the connection on fourth down, and they'll turn it over. And that is a big-time drop right there. Fourth down, opportunity to catch it, maybe get the first down. That is, he hurls one deep down the left side. And incomplete on the deep ball. Well, the defense hasn't been able to stop this guy all game long, so the offense is going to keep trying to take shots. They thought they had the matchup they wanted, but they're going to force this defense to prove they can stop him. And the defense finally came up with a play. Looking to pass. It's Daniels. And they got him. They'll get him down for the sack. Well, the problem for this offense now late in the game, trailing by a bunch of points, is that the defense knows they're going to throw the football. And right now, offensively, they cannot protect the edge. You saw that. Fires into traffic and intercepted. Going the other way, and he's got room. And he's going to score on the interception. Touchdown, Tigers. What a play by this defense with the pick six. And how about the defender? Exactly what you're supposed to do. Breaks on the football, makes the interception. Everybody on defense, we turn to offense. Go lay some blocks so my guy can get it and take him back to the house. They're about to kick it away, and the defense probably can't wait to get back out there after the pick six. Oh, he's going to take a chance and bring it out. That gamble did not pay off as they bring him down at the 12-yard line. The Stanford offense making its way back onto the field. The big thing now, don't get rattled by that last pick six, David. Nah, it was a big mistake. Uh, obviously, the defense took advantage of it, but you got to put it behind you. Jesse, I'm sure you know a thing or two about throwing a pick six and, and how to rebound. I believe I've only thrown one in my life, but yes, I do because of that singular instance. I'll say this. You can't let that play beat you twice. you got to go out and not try to get it all back here in one play. Just execute the offense. I know you want to take what the defense gives you, but at this point, you have to push the ball downfield a little more, David. Yeah, and that's exactly what the defense wants you to do. Check the football down. That's what they're going to give you, but we need... And it's picked off again. His night vision hasn't been on par. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. That should be the nail in the coffin. What a great break on the football. Getting the big turnover. You got the lead. Now just go out there, be smart on offense, and run that clock. And you want to talk about game tackling. Everybody on the defense, run to the ball. Going to work on second down in the red zone. is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Dropping back. It's Thorne. Got it! That completion will take it inside the four, and the offense is threatening. The Tigers will hustle to the line. They'll try to get it through the air. And the pressure gets him back at the eight-yard line. They get the timeout, and the clock reads three seconds. After this play, the cake will be baked. On fourth down, he'll try to toss it. Looking for the score! Touchdown, Auburn! And the beatdown has ensued. Man, you knew this one was over already, but how about an exclamation point to go with it? Another score for this offense. They've had themselves a great day, and the stats... They get it to me. When we get to the offseason and they start having coaching clinics, they're going to roll this game tape back to show both offenses. Dial it up and let it run. I mean, that's essentially what we saw in this game. It didn't matter what either offensive coordinator was calling. Everything seemed to work. Throwing the football 
in the intermediate passing game, the RPOs, the run game. David, this was just clinical offensive football. And offenses have evolved so much. They can do so many different things, and they know how to use their playmakers, get speed and space, make those big plays. So that's why offenses are ahead of defenses. In this game, it was no different. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been...